Wednesday, December the 16th, and we're continuing in our Advent reading plan, and we want to encourage you this morning uh, to pick up the pace, maybe catch up a few days, uh, maybe you've gotten behind a little bit, and maybe need to spend a few minutes reading a few days just to be caught up, but uh, what a great plan for us as a church to be on the same page, learning the same things, and leading us up to the message on Sunday. Today we're on uh, December the 16th, Joy Restored, and we're going to read from Psalm 51. Uh, in the story part of the Advent reading for today, they talk about some evergreen trees, which of course uh, Christmas is that. And where I grew up in Ohio, we really never had a lot of evergreens near us, and so I wasn't really familiar with that. And then I had family that moved to North Carolina, and it seemed like everywhere I turned when we visited, there was evergreens. In fact, there's so much evergreen there, they actually use the pine needles for bark under a tree, or as we would use bark. And so... Uh, they gather it up and they uh, spread it around the trees and uh, that's what they recycle, if you will. They use it for ground cover. And the reason they're able to do that is because the evergreen is evergreen. It uh, continually provides, it's continually growing. Uh, there's not a dormant season, a time maybe when uh, things are lacking and winter is here and the cold weather and the tree goes dormant. Uh, but rather it is over and over and over again producing these needles. Well, there's a truth in that about the passage from today. Psalm 51 is uh, David's heart cry. Uh, we know earlier in his life and what was happening that uh, the deep, dark sin of his life and the confession and all of the consequences that came with that. And I think most of us could relate to heartbreak, heartache uh, caused by uh, disobedience to the Lord, things that we uh, did not follow through with, things that we chose to rebel against, areas of our life where uh, we just knew we weren't doing the right thing and the consequences fell because of that. And in this passage, uh, Psalm 51, verse 10 through 12, David says this, Create in me a pure heart and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. There are few key words in here that are hopeful, uh, that bring joy to us, and they're so applicable to us today because we disappoint the Lord. We fail the Lord. And yeah, it may not be the same as the way David did or as big a sin as David did as we might say, but let's face it. Uh, we sin and sin is sin and the consequences are different, but the the grief and grieving that we cause to God uh, should drive us back to these couple key words. First of all, create from new, from scratch, from nothing. Just as God created the world in the beginning and he spoke it into existence, David is begging God, create in me a pure heart. What's the solution to overcoming our sin is a pure heart. You know, earlier in Psalm 37 in verse number four, it says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Uh, I'll never forget uh, thinking that was, well, God will give me whatever I desire. And the truth is it's not that, but that God will actually place within me the right kinds of desires. And so that begins with David's plea to create. And then he says, renew. Uh, that's something that was already there, a steadfast spirit within me. What God put in our life uh, at the moment of our salvation uh, is there. Philippians chapter one, verse number six, he who has begun a good work in you will continue to perform it. 
Uh, God started that the day you accepted him as Savior, and he will continue that. He'll renew it over and over and over again as needed. And that's why 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, and he will renew. And then, of course, restore. Restore to me the joy of my salvation. Uh, you know, if you go back in your mind and relive that moment, uh, the, the freedom, the joy, uh, the boldness, uh, everything that came with your salvation, uh, God will restore that in your life. And so I know there's uh, deep, dark moments. There's times of grieving, but just like that evergreen, uh, always alive, always producing, uh, you and I are looking for the joy that God will renew, restore, and refresh day by day. His mercies are new every morning. And so maybe today before you go off to work or get your day busy going, take a few moments, confess, repent, ask God to renew and restore the joy of your salvation today. Have a great day.